What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Union watching the DC edition of the Rage Nation show. This is just the Webster's. We're talking about all things matter mean the DC Cinematic Universe. This is episode number 29, and you know we got to talk about Suicide Squad. The Suicide Squad Comic Con exclusive trailer got leaked illegally, and as a response, Warner Brothers Pictures and DC Entertainment decided to release the official version online. And it was glorious. I watched it. I loved it. I watched it again and again and again. I even watched it more than the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice trailer that was released at Comic-Con. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to do a little bit of a trailer analysis. And I'm going to do that right after I just do a little bit of a recap on some of the news that happened over Comic-Con weekend for the DC Cinematic Universe. First of all, let's talk about The Batman. The Batman is a new film that will be coming out in 2018, and that will be the new solo Batman film. It's starring Ben Affleck, as we already know, but it will also be co-written by Ben Affleck with Jeff Johns, and it will be directed by Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck will be the director of The Batman. Now, Jeff Johns, he has a lot of experience with DC Entertainment. Of course, he was the writer for The Flash, Arrow, Smallville, and many other DC projects along with comics and video games and also animated features. So, very, very good to know that this, this writer of such talent and also such an extensive background in the DC Universe is on board, all right? Moving on, let's talk about... Green Lantern. We're going to get a Green Lantern solo film pretty soon, but I won't call it a solo film anymore after finding out at the panel that Green Lantern is now retitled the Green Lantern Corps, which suggests there's going to be more than one Green Lantern character, Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart, and the other guy. So that's whom I believe we're getting, okay? We're definitely going to be getting Jon Stewart, okay, for sure. And then we're going to get a couple of other guys. So it's the Green Lantern Corps, okay? The final news tidbit that I'm gonna give you is that while I don't have photos for it, what was revealed at the DC Entertainment panel was some concept art for Ray Fisher as Cyborg, Ezra Miller as the Flash with long dark hair, long dark hair, and also Wonder Woman fighting in World War II. So pretty exciting stuff, okay? If you were lucky enough to attend the panel, you got treated to a lot of awesome stuff. Now, let's talk about that Suicide Squad trailer that was supposed to only be shown at Comic-Con, all right? Now, because of that, David Ayer spoke out about it, okay? He tweeted and he expressed a little bit of discontent about it. First of all, he tweeted, shame our sneak peek Hall H footage was leaked. Hashtag not cool. It's unfair to the fans who waited in line and not how I intended folks to see it. And by that, he means that, you know, nobody wants to watch a cam version, a shaky cam version, a low quality version of this, uh, of this trailer. I mean, when you watch something like that, and I've seen ca leaked cam versions, I don't really feel anything. I don't really feel the awe. I don't feel the like, wow, any of that factor because there's so many distractions, not only the low quality, but also the like the noise in the background and you just don't feel it. You don't just, you don't really don't feel it. So uh, um, that's why Warner Brothers Pictures decided to respond with this statement. Warner Brothers Pictures and our anti-piracy team have worked tirelessly over the last 40 hours to contain the Suicide Squad footage that was pirated from Hall H on Saturday. We have, but we have been unable to achieve the goal. Today, we will release the same footage that has been illegally circulating on the web in the form that it was created and high quality with which it was intended to be enjoyed. We regret this decision at it, as it was our intention to keep the footage as a unique experience for the Comic-Con crowd, but we cannot continue to allow the film to be represented by poor, poor quality of the pirated footage stolen from our, rep, uh, from our presentation. Sue Kroll, President Worldwide Marketing and International Distribution, Warner Brothers Pictures. So from what you can tell, obviously they only wanted it for the 6,500 to 7,000 people who dedicated themselves to wait in line for the last 24 hours to watch this this footage and I totally respect that okay I totally respect that and in fact if they don't show the Suicide Squad trailer officially at all that's totally fine because you know what you know I, I I'm actually against illegal bootlegging so uh, I, I you know what if that is their decision then so be it I, I totally respect that so but as a response 
they 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 surrendered their footage and that's why we have an official version and I'm pretty happy about it okay I watched it I'm happy about it so let's talk about it okay so here we go we're gonna start off with this shot over here uh, as soon as I open this okay there we go now I'm not gonna go over every single shot I'm just going to uh, to look at uh, specific shots uh, that really caught my mind I mean you know caught my attention such as Cara Delevingne as June Moon and she is in some kind of cavern and she discovers something obviously she discovers you know something that turns her into Enchantress so we're seeing her before she becomes Enchantress uh, moving on we see uh, uh, um, Harlequin and she is put in a in a cell that is um, pretty high security. I mean, it's away from everybody else's cell. Like they're keeping her specifically in this uh, exclusive cell because she is much more lethal and dangerous compared to all the other prisoners. All right, and of course we see uh, El uh, Diablo and uh, and uh, Will Smith as Deadshot. Uh, but but it starts getting really really weird. Okay, now here's a shot of Killer Croc. But it starts getting weird when we start seeing people with guns. First of all, check this out. This shot of um, these two thugs in masks. We got an eyeball guy and we got a guy wearing a, a crying baby face, which looks hideous. <laughs> and, then, um, and then we get Deadshot for the first time wearing his mask. Uh, you know, and the only time in, throughout this trailer wearing the mask. I hope Will Smith keeps the mask on. I just want to see more Deadshot and less Will Smith. And then we got this guy um, who's probably part of the same team. Uh, he's wearing a goat head. So these thugs and these minions, they're pretty, uh, they're pretty bent on wearing their masks. And then here's another shot that's very, very peculiar. Um, this I'm thinking is Joker trying to interrogate Harlequin. Okay, because Harlequin is most likely going to start off as a uh, as someone who works in Arkham Asylum, and so uh, you know a, a Joker. She, he physically um, is able to uh, overcome uh, and that's why he's able to take down Harley Quinn and that's where it all starts. Maybe this is a flashback scene. Who the heck is this guy? Like, I don't recognize him uh, at all, but I'm just curious about who that guy is. I really don't know. I'm going to skip over a couple scenes and then now we have the Suicide Squad walking the streets. This could be probably one of the climat climatic scenes in the film. Uh, we have them all here. And then Will Smith says something uh, interesting. He goes, uh, that's all we are. We're the Patsies. We're the Suicide Squad. Okay. Um, I don't even know what Patsies mean. And here they are walking into this building. This this uh, this building that seems to be taken over by, I, I'm guessing, Joker's thugs. Because uh, I heard that uh, they were going after the Joker. Considering the fact that the Joker's not even seen to be with the Suicide Squad. Okay. And then, uh, let's see what else we got here. We uh, have, oh, okay. First look at Killer Croc, all right? Um, I mean, with his without that, that mask on. And then, I like this shot here of Harlequin uh, using, holding her, uh, sh her ba baseball bat like a shotgun, all right? And look at this. You know what's very, very different about these thugs compared to a lot of the thugs that we've seen before? And I'm going to assume they're Joker's thugs is that they like to uh, wear really, really funny masks and costumes. <laughs> I, it's, it's almost kind of disturbing, the, the, the costumes they decide to pick. I mean, uh, like, like this is a panda with a gun. All right, pandas, pandas are supposed to be cute. <laughs> and then we have this. Now, this is really cool. This is an animated Batman mask. All right, Joker's thug wearing animated Batman mask. When I first saw that, I was like, that, that looks like kind of weird. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Here's Katana, and then uh, what do we have here? Now, here is, I don't know who that is, but if you pay attention, Joker's there. So this is one of Joker's henchmen, maybe his right-hand men. Joker's uh, always has a right-hand man. And uh, here they're walking across some kind of lab or hospital or something. And then, um, now, this might seem kind of interesting. Here we see Boomerang, played by Jai Courtney, and one of his... Uh, uh, one of the soldiers is pinning them against the wall. So I thought they're all on the same team. So I don't know what's going on here, but there seems to be some aggression taking place. Cara Delevingne as finally the Enchantress. And I was, I guess I was right about Joker taking down uh, Harlequin 
because if you look to the left, you see all the t t tattoos, and then sh he is uh, either torturing or interrogating her in some sort of way. All right, but either way, he's being very, very intimidating. Uh, now, now he's she's Harlequin. She's she's a uh, uh, Joker's main girl, and they're riding in some kind of uh, exotic car. Now, this is the appearance of Batman. Okay, Batman's on top of this car. And it's going to be a really cool car chase because we have Batman just just uh, trying to get Joker to stop in this really sweet car. And uh, Harley Quinn seems to be enjoying every minute of it, every second of it. And then moving on, here's Adam Beach as Slipknot. Uh, is this a flashback scene? Perhaps uh, maybe um, Joker's being dumped by with toxic ways i don't know but it just looks kind of interesting to know that we're seeing a prisoner having all this liquid dumped on them maybe it is toxic waste or something kind of reminds me of the tim burton joker uh and then i, I really like this we have uh we have jai courtney going uh saying something like um uh um i, I forgot what he says but then harley quinn goes huh <laughs> and it really gives to that personality all right, of, of her character. Uh, but something that I noticed is that this trailer focuses a lot on Harlequin. Like, she, I feel almost like she's going to steal the show. And one of the things that I also notice about Harlequin is that she doesn't have the accent. She's not shrieking when she's speaking. Like, you know, it's uh, she just seems to be speaking normally. Maybe she will later on, but she definitely does not carry an accent at all. Like, or, and she's not speaking funny. So, you know what? If they got rid of that... I'm okay with that. I just want to see her represented with her crazy and wild personality, okay? I mean, I already like the way she looks. And finally, of course, we've been waiting for our, our look at the Joker, and we are getting it. And look at him. There's Jared Leto, and he looks like he's about to, like, torture somebody with electricity. He says, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to hurt you really, really bad and then he's he like shows off his teeth which have like silver grills and he looks psychotic he's psychotic <laughs> and i gotta tell you i really really like this trailer a lot i repeated it again and again and i think it's really really well done what's very interesting about this trailer is that it doesn't contain a whole lot of visual effects shots first of all it is um it is um, in still in the middle of filming. During the middle of filming right now, when you watch the panel at Comic Con, all they did was go up, present the trailer, and then they left. That was less than twenty minutes. Okay, so they didn't stay there that long. Um, and then um, they got to go back to work. They got to start filming again. So what we really saw was not a whole lot, to be completely honest. There was only two visual effects shots: the Chinook helicopters flying through the city and being shot at, and not also one of the Chinook helicopters crashing down those are the only two visual effects shots in the film everything else is grounded everything else is just all practical effects people walking people showing their faces a lot of gunfire that's it okay so you can tell that this is a very very early trailer and i can understand why they didn't want to release it because they honestly didn't have a whole lot to show because it doesn't show you a whole lot of anything i personally believe the highlight of the the video i mean the trailer was really just showing shots of harlequin the shots of joker and also the fact that batman's in it okay so that's about it but other than that i really really liked it it really told the story uh, it told the story that amanda waller wants to use the suicide squad uh because they have uh um, they hold zero responsibility when it, in terms of if they get caught. You know, they don't care what happens to them as long as they take care of their mission, okay? So that's really, really exciting. And I got to tell you that I'm excited about almost more about Suicide Squad than I am about Batman versus Superman, all right? I am excited about Batman versus Superman. Don't get it twisted. But Suicide Squad is something very, very unique. It's going to be a very, very different type of a comic book movie because it's focused on the villains it's something that has never really been done before i guess it's like um i guess it's like reservoir dogs or something uh imagine reservoir dogs uh but with super villains okay so there you have it that's really all i gotta say oh not the, that's not all i got some spoilerific stuff i gotta show you um i read the synopsis which got leaked 
So, you know what? I already read it. And if you want to not be spoiled, if you don't want to be spoiled, stop the video right now. But I'm going to share it with you guys for those that want to know. This is majorly spoilerish, okay? So, uh, the level of spoilerific material is right off the charts. But I'm going to read it to you guys just because I've already read it. And immediately after this was released, uh, like leaked rather, it got taken down. Okay, so I'm going to read it right here. Suicide Squad picks up right after Batman vs Superman with the finale being very climactic and the death of Superman among the people of Gotham at the hands of Doomsday. Batman is now hunting Lex Luthor down. Meanwhile, Lex hires the Suicide Squad to take out Batman, their number one target. To top it all off, the Clown Prince of Crime catches wind of the hit on Batman's head. He wants in whether the squad wants him or not. He wants the Batman's cowl and blood. The Suicide Squad, unhappy with the Joker's tampering of their plans, now has two enemies, the Joker and Batman. This battle will be the biggest and baddest of all Gotham's knights. This is a night to remember, and Gotham's citizens will not forget the Joker. So that's the synopsis. I can't 100% confirm if it's official, but this is what was leaked out. And of course, obviously, very, very spoilerish. Now, we know that Batman is going to be in Suicide Squad. We also know that Lex Luthor did make a couple of appearances while on set for Suicide Squad. So, this, um, this uh, 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 leaked synopsis does have a little bit of validity to it. But uh, it does spoil quite a few things for not just Suicide Squad, but also Batman vs. Superman. But anyways, there you have it. I'm almost more... Uh, I, I almost got to say that this film, with David Ayer's direction, just feels like I'm more excited about this. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Because uh, he brought us Fury. He brought up End of Days. He was also the writer uh, for training day. So he's definitely got that, that like that urban crime story down. He's got this, the, that urban crime story, um, uh, genre down and he's able to really deliver that level of violence in a very, very edgy film like this. We're talking about villains here and we're talking about villains that fight with, um, you know, their brute force and also guns. There's a lot of gun violence in here and it's not high flying violence like Batman and Superman is not cartoon violence. It's not comic book action. It's a, it's more grounded, and I think that's what is really making me feel like this is a film that I'm 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 really really looking forward to. All right, bring on 2016. It's going to be one of the biggest years for any nerd of comic book comic books. <laughs> comic book films or films from comic books and there you have it that's all i gotta say in this video and uh, i'm gonna have more updates for you guys there's a lot to talk about and as always if you enjoy this video you want to see more hit the like button subscribe to the youtube channel like me on facebook the rage nation also follow me on twitter at rage nation my name is alex thanks for watching i'll see you next time peace